क्वेश्चन सेवन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज ऑन मैजिक स्क्वेयर्स इट सेज दैट इन अ मैजिक स्क्वेयर ईच रो कॉलम एंड डायगनल हैव द सेम सम चेक विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ मैजिक स्क्वेयर सो फॉर ईच ऑफ द गिवन नंबर स्क्वेयर्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ द इंटीजर्स इन ईच रो ईच कॉलम एंड ईच डायगनल एंड इफ ऑल दीज सम्स आर द सेम देन वी कैन से दैट दैट स्क्वेयर इज अ मैजिक स्क्वेयर Okay, so let's analyze the first square. Let's label the rows, columns, and the diagonals. So there are three rows. Let's call them R one, R two, and R three. And we also have three columns. So let's uh, label the columns C one, C two, C three, and then we have two diagonals. So I'm going to draw a line through the diagonals. So there is this diagonal, and there is this diagonal. so i'm going to call this first diagonal d1 and this second diagonal d2 so we have to find eight sums and we have to see whether all those sums are the same or not so let's write the sum of the integers in each row first so in row 1 this sum will be 5 plus minus 1 plus minus 4 so how much is this so minus 1 and minus 4 if you add them that's minus 5 and 5 plus minus 5 is 0 so row 1 has a sum of 0 then in row 2 we have the sum minus 5 and then the second number is minus 2 and the third number is 7 so minus 5 plus minus 2 is minus 7 and minus 7 plus 7 is 0 so once again we get 0 in row 2 then in row 3 we have the sum 0 so let me write it using blue color 0 Plus three, plus minus three. This is the sum, and the three and minus three cancel out, and this sum is also zero. So the sums in all the three rows are zero. Now let's go to the columns. So in column one, the three numbers are. Uh, make sure that you are observing the numbers from the square. So the three numbers in column one are five, then minus five, and then zero. So the sum, this sum is zero. then in column 2 we have the sum minus 1 and then we have minus 2 and then we have 3 so minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 so once again we get 0 and then in column 3 we have the sum minus 4 and then we have plus 7 and then we have plus minus 3 so minus 4 plus 7 is plus 3 and plus, if you add plus 3 and minus 3 you get 0 again so even in column 3 the sum is 0 so in all the rows and all the columns the sum is 0 now let's check the two diagonals so in diagonal 1 the sum is 5 and then minus 2 and then minus 3 So minus two and minus three is minus five, and if you add five and minus five, you will get zero. So the sum on diagonal one is zero, and finally we check the sum on diagonal two, and on diagonal two the sum is. So this is diagonal two. So if we start from the top left, we have this number minus four, and then we have minus two, and then we have zero. So minus four plus minus two is minus six. And minus six plus zero is minus six. So here we obtain a non-zero sum. On diagonal two, there is a non-zero sum, and this means that this square is not a magic square. The square in um, part one is not a magic square because all the sums are not the same. Okay. so that's the analysis of uh, the first square now let's do the same thing for the second square once again let's label the rows columns and the diagonals so this is row 1 row 2 row 3 then we have column 1 column 2 column 3 and then we have this diagonal which is diagonal 1 and this is diagonal 2 so d1 and d2 now let's quickly write out the sums So in row one, the sum will be one plus minus ten plus zero, and this is equal to one plus minus ten is minus nine. So on row one, the sum is 
minus 9 then on row 2 the sum is minus 4 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 and once again this sum is minus 9 and you can verify minus 4 plus minus 3 is minus 7 minus 7 plus minus 2 is minus 9 then in row 3 the sum is minus 6 plus 4 plus minus 7 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 plus minus 7 is minus 9 so again we obtain a sum of minus 9 then in now we come to the columns in column 1 the sum is 1 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 so 1 plus minus 4 is minus 3 minus 3 plus minus 6 is minus 9 so we get minus 9 again then in column 2 we have the sum minus 10 plus minus 3 plus 4 all right minus 10 plus minus 3 is minus 13 minus 13 plus 4 is minus 9 again so we get minus 9 again and then we come to column 3 in which the sum is 0 and then minus 2 and then minus 7 and minus 2 plus minus 7 is minus 9 again so in all the rows and all the columns the sum is minus 9 now we need to check the two diagonals so in diagonal 1 the sum is 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 7 so what is this sum 1 plus minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 plus minus 7 is minus 9 and then finally we come to diagonal 2 in diagonal 2 the numbers are 0 and then minus 3 and then minus 6 and minus 3 plus minus 6 is also equal to minus 9 so in this case all the 8 sums are equal to minus 9 and this means that this square is a magic square the square in part 2 is a magic square let's write this it is a magic square and that's because the sum of all the the sum of the numbers in all rows all columns and all diagonals or both the diagonals is the same it is equal to minus 9 so this is the answer for question number 7 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.